There she is. Good morning. Rachel. When you find us in the heart of the... Oh. Sorry to interrupt you there. You find us in the heart of the political district here in Berlin. We're just a stone's throw from the parliament buildings here. And it really does feel tense this morning. That's because it is so very, very close. As you heard there, Angela Merkel does still look like becoming the first ever female chancellor. But in the past 10 days, Chancellor Gerhard Schroeder has staged the most miraculous of recoveries. And it's left the electorate here very, very confused. Around a third of them still don't know which way they're going to boat when the polls open first thing tomorrow morning. Now she really will make history, Angela Merkel, if she becomes the first female chancellor here in Germany. But despite that fact, many women have not necessarily warmed to her. Now to discuss that a little bit further, I'm here with Monica uh, Christan. She is one of the founders of the Feminist Women's Party here in Germany. She's also a spokesperson for Equal Equalities. Monica, what do you make of Angela Merkel? Have you warmed to her? Uh, well, Good afternoon, first of all. We do not support uh, Angela Merkel because uh, she stands for a policy which um, is disastrous for women. She wants to send back women to the kitchen and that does not mean that we are supporting women because women, being women, woman is not um, a program, a political program. And if we elect uh, um, Angela Merkel, then we do not elect the individual person, but we do elect uh, the policies which stands behind her. And the policies of the Christ Democratic Union is disastrous for women, and so, for men as well, but especially for women. So Schroeder's policies seen as being more female friendly, and yet surely it would mean something for Germany's women to have the first ever female leader. Surely that might inspire others. Well, this, this is a, a very old wish that uh, a woman should be a chancellor because uh, we hope that uh, a woman is, brings different uh, accents to policies uh, which are more of advantages for uh, women because there's a lot of uh, things to do for women. But the policies of Schröder or Angela Merkel, there is no really a big difference. I would say um, the policies of, of this uh, Christ Democratic Union, they even worse than from the Social Democrats. But also the Social Democrats, they do not really fight for women. It must be a feminist approach, on our opinion. So as women go to the polls tomorrow, what do you think will be the main issues that will be at the forefront of their minds in particular? I think um, most of the people in Germany are very anxious about their working place. And, uh, well, they will elect more or less the social democrats because there is no really uh, a choice for them. Um, and the small parties, they play a certain role, but it's not enough, it's not important. And of course the economy is in such a mess here in Germany. Unemployment has grown and that affects possibly women more than men. It does, but we cannot support um, a policy which um, uh, is expanding the low wage sector and, and Merkel stands for expanding the low wage sector and the changement from the Rhine capitalism to the Manchester capitalism to the Anglo American system. We don't want that. And I just have to show you one of the papers this morning. Speaking of women and the coverage people are getting, have a look at this. It suggests that a full moon election will persuade more women to vote for Merkel. I mean, what do you make of this very briefly? Oh, this is really a rubbish. I think this is from a male. Um, a man from, from the paper, we're living in a male system, so why should, uh, should we elect upon the stars? <laughs> there we go. Certainly a bit of an insult to female intelligence, I think. Not just women who are undecided, of course, around one in three German voters yet to make their mind up. The polls opening first thing tomorrow morning. Rachel, thank you very much indeed. Afghans, go to the